Hi, my name is Dr. Arun Deer. I'm a gastrointestinal and a weight loss surgeon. And I deal on a day-to-day -day basis with individuals who need assistance in improving their levels of health and well-being. And see, if you want to rise above mediocrity and join the top 5% of the people, you got to start doing things that the mediocre people do because that is what is robbing you of your ability to uncover, to unravel the gifts that and the talents that lie hidden in you. And today I'm going to be talking about the power of morning routine. We've heard this time and time again that life begins each morning. And many of us who are in the habit of pressing the snooze button whenever the alarm clock rings almost say that, you know, I did like mornings better if they started a little bit late. Now, I know that's a very rhetorical comment, but the key thing is that if you are repeatedly doing the same things that you have been doing in the past, you are going to continue to get the results that you have been getting in the past. And then people say, you know, nothing ever changes for me. Well, you got to start doing things differently. They have given a beautiful name to this. And when I say beautiful, I mean, I say it with a coat that it is called the rear view syndrome. Now, rear view syndrome is living in the past and doing the same things in the past, but expecting your future to change. It has been estimated that an average human being thinks about 60 to 70,000 thoughts. And here is the interesting bit. 95% of the thoughts that you think are the repeat of what you were thinking yesterday, the week before, the month before. So that is why we do not have the ability to change things in our life. Now, I want to share with you this book, which has formed the basis of this video that I'm recording, which is called The Miracle Morning Routine, The Miracle Morning, sorry, by Hal Elrod. Now, he's done an amazing job, and I'll give you a summary of what he presents in this book. But I would urge you to take this in a way that it allows you to start to reset your internal wiring, the way you think, the way you act, and the way you make decisions in your life, because that will have a profound impact on it. So Hal talks about six key habits of the morning routine, and I'm going to just summarize this for you. And he's used a really good mnemonic for this, which is these six letters, which is called S, A, V, E, R and S, savers. So let's start with S. S starts with silence. Now this silence, every time you get up in the morning, you got to practice silence, whether it is meditation, it is a practice of mindfulness, it is self-reflection, or it is, uh, you know, deep breathing, whatever it is for you, you pick it up. What works for you is, I would say, 15 minutes. That is critical for you to calm down and silence your mind. Then is A. A stands for affirmation. Now, affirmation is something like a command that you give to yourself. This is really, for example, if somebody was there who has got a stage fright of public speaking, you would give yourself a command that I am confident and able to communicate effectively with a large audience. Now, initially, this is going to seem like you are telling yourself a lie. But I'll tell you, if you repeatedly keep doing this, you will realize that your subconscious mind, which is where your habits live, your thinking patterns live, you will start to believe it. So that is called A for affirmation. Then is V, V for visualization. Now visualization means that when you say affirmation, that is like an auditory thing, all right? And V's visualization means that you are actually imagining in the eye of your mind that you're standing on a stage and you are actually addressing these thousands or hundreds of people who are there in front of you. So that is called you visualize it, you experience the emotions. Initially, those emotions will be negative, they would be draining, but then you realize, you know, I can actually do it. If you're genuinely believing in it, 
you will start to give it a positive uplifting feeling next is e e stands for exercise now i have mentioned this in my other videos that the exercise that i often talk about is the exercise which has got three components to it number one stretching exercise which is yoga pilates whatever works for you number two is resistance training which is some weights and the third one is cardio which is uh, which is stamina building cardiovascular sort of building your uh, resilience or stamina the next is r r stands for reading now as they say leaders are readers it's important to understand that by reading you are tapping into the wisdom of the author who has put in years and years of experience and learning and wisdom into that one book which you can get in a few days if you are a fast enough reader and the last s is that of scribing now i'm a huge fan of scribing scribing also means journaling journaling is the best way that you can write down things that it allows you to create awareness of why you do what you do and that is your six habit routine take a little notebook as far as journaling goes put a date and start writing your you know what is your intention for the day what is your gratitude what are you grateful for for the day or what did you learn that day you know so when you start writing down these things you actually start to create awareness so once again savers starts with silence affirmation then visualization exercise reading and scribing scribing meaning journaling I hope you found some value out of this video. See, it's not just a motivational video. And as one of my mentors, Jim Rohn said, motivation is what gets you started. But discipline or habits and discipline is something that keeps you going. So try and develop this discipline of morning routine because there is immense power in the miracles that remain hidden in this morning. All the best. Take care.